So guys, I'm here at Power Gym downtown Tampa. My man Josh Vogel. We're gonna hit another painful leg workout. Josh said that this one is more intense than the last one. I brought Jeff back, and we're gonna go through an even harder workout. So sounds good to me. All right, man, let's hit. Cool. This is getting the cap out of being involved in the leg curl motion. What that's gonna do is just gonna allow greater tension and no rest on the hamstring throughout the whole movement. We're not just gonna think about dropping our leg down to that position. We're actually gonna think about pushing our heel back towards the wall. We would actually be pushing it like that. Although it is just gonna go down, yeah. our intent is just gonna be straight back towards the wall. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. We're gonna do four strikes here. And up, squeeze. Come on. Up. Good, keep your ass down, shut it down the whole time. And up, 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 up. I'm good splashy, come on. Keep those hips down and up, squeeze. Good, you got two more like that, come on. Don't lose tension, come on. Back down, three like that, go. Two, up, squeeze, Jeff. One more, and up. I want you to go all the way down and go up halfway, sloppy form, go. Five, four, Three, come on. Two, good. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Go. Come on. More, Josh. Come on, let's go. Rep it, rep it. Let's get five. Three, five. Right. We're gonna be doing a quad dominant squat here. So I'm gonna be doing barbell. Just having some back issues, I believe. So he's gonna be doing the hammer strength squat press. Our intent is gonna be on the quads. So for me, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making sure that my knees are continuing traveling forward rather than doing like a low bar style squat where my, I bend up the hips first. So I'm gonna here, I'm gonna break. We try to stay just like that. We're gonna be training in the active range of motion. So I don't care if I get as far down as possible. I'm gonna go as far down as my quads will let me while staying turned on. Same thing with Jeff. So we're gonna make sure his quads are activating. We're gonna have him pause down on the pole. It's gonna be very uncomfortable, it's gonna be very shitty. But from there, we're gonna make sure his quads actually fire. And what about a rep tempo? Like, are you slowing down the eccentric or just kind do, of a natural? We're gonna do a three second eccentric, or a one to two count pause, and then we're gonna explode out of it while not locking up. Think about a front relaxed pose with body weight. You wanna start while firing from a relaxed pose. So here, sitting down on your knees, flexing them and sitting down really, really hard, getting it to activate first, and then start to put it down. Personally, when switching to just like a completely external focus, so like how much load is on the bar, yes. to having more internal cues, I've noticed yes. a big difference in terms of activation, especially with like my glutes, because you can squat or deadlift a lot of weight, but have virtually no, or maybe not virtually no, but very comparatively less glute activation yes. than when you forcefully or intentionally turn on your glutes yes. and then activate them through the whole range of motion. It's a totally different movement almost.
here is going to start up just like it would set up a normal leg extension. However, when we get to the full extension part where the muscle is shortened, we're going to hold it there. If you watch Jeff real quick, he's going to go up and hold, and then go back down slow, and go up again. Don't let it set all the way back down. So right there, and go up and squeeze. Good. Now squeeze your knees, my fist, and punch your knees. There. Continue to squeeze like that, and go back up. Good. A cue here is when you get up at the top, pull your toes towards your shoulders. And you actually feel it apply typically all the way up to the hips. Go again. Good. Two more. Squeeze. Good. One more. Good. But we're also going to incorporate what's called isometronics. So an isometric is where you're here and you're just holding it and flexing it. An isometronic is where that this is here. And pushing against it, and it's gonna be stalled. At one point, I'm actually gonna hold this the arm down while Jeff is trying to extend. I'm gonna release it and have it perform the leg extensions. It's kind of like the uh, post activation potentiation. Yes. It feels good, that's not gonna hurt you, so why not do it? Yeah. Alright, let's try it out. So, up to four, three. One, go back down. Josh, explain, okay, explain what's up, what's this, up next? this torture device. Okay, so, so adding the bands, the higher up you go, the more it's pulling back down. So it's adding greater tension at the top. And another thing we're going to have Jeff do is when his feet are up on the platform, at this is his toes, we're going to pretend there's a piece of gum right here on the bottom of his foot. And he's trying to scrape it down off the platform like that. Interesting. That intent is going to help his hamstrings literally just flick and fire like you know, I don't think it's so I'm going to show what he means by that because that, that was hard for me to even visualize. So you're thinking about doing this. Yes. One so more time. Like, there's going to be tension so it's not actually going to move but you want to think about driving your feet down. That's basically uh, a cue to force hip extension. So that's yes. going to drive your hamstrings and glutes on and they really turn on when you, when you think about that.
video don't forget to give it a thumbs up uh, that really helps me out a lot and also I have a very exciting announcement uh, Stephanie has officially released uh, her YouTube channel and her first video if you are ever wondering what it's like to live a day in the life of a PhD student uh, you can check out her first video which I'll put a link to uh, right over here if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you can do so by clicking the button here everything is also linked in the description thank you guys once again so much for watching I will see you in the next video